Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, we're going to do a JavaScript JSON file reader. So a JSON object notation or JSON is an open data interface language standard. It's a text format and it's programming language independent. It's basically just a collection of key value pairs. So I explain here a glossary of all the terms and the type of uh, data types that can be inside a JSON file could be an array, could be a string, could be a number. Obviously, we're going to use these first three. I'm not using any white space. I'm not using as in boolean or null. So the code snippet for the JSON file is here. The code for the actual file reader is here, and these are just screenshots. So let's begin. I will be using. I'll be using NetBeans uh, to create the uh, both the JSON file, which is an external JSON file, and I'll just use an index.html file to create the uh, file reader, and it will be able to open up in any web browser. Again, let's begin. The first thing we'll do is we by creating the JSON file. and we'll call it accounts colon then we use the square bracket because we're going to have multiple accounts username Twenty four, eleven, fifteen, and we we'll have the number of messages, which will be zero. Then we we'll have the likes, which will also be zero. Following, set that to zero, and followers, set that to a large number comma duplicate this and so just simply become John D the changes the messages will be two likes will be one following will be ten and followers will be zero duplicate this again this will be Jane B 2023 messages at 200 10 likes 20 following 10 followers so that's our JSON file now we'll create the index.html file Okay, so we create a style here. I'll close off the head here, so okay, so I'll just target P and oops and child odd give it a background RGBA Okay after the head we'll create the body So this will be the, uh, this will be targeted, and all our data will go in here. Close off the HTML so I don't forget. Make a valid HTML file. Okay, so this will just be a JavaScript.
You can always copy and paste as well. So we use the fetch API and the name of the file is accounts.json. Close it off so don't forget, so it's valid. So gra grab the target equals document dot query selector target then use any for loop that we want to use so use Okay, so the fr then I'll create a paragraph tag document dot create element paragraph dot in a HTML, just keep on appending to it. duplicate and what we're going to do here is we have a comma here this will be joined And this one should be messages. Next one will be likes. Uh, next one will be following. And the last one will be followers. Then we we'll just append it to the parent, which is the power, which is the target. Now we'll go in our web browser. I'm using the Python to run a web browser, HTTP, just refresh. You can see it pulls up all the JSON. You can format it any way you want it, but I did it this deliberately and I also styled it uh, each odd one is styled. And as usual, you can find the article at ojumbo.com slash javascript hyphen JSON hyphen file hyphen reader can expand to get the JSON file here and expand to get the code snippet uh, for JavaScript to read the file. This is just a screenshot of the JSON file. This is a screenshot of the uh, JavaScript file reader. And this is the output in the web browser. This is the video watching right now. And be sure to subscribe for more frequent uh, tutorials.
you can also request some tutorials like the last tutorial was requested the you can learn javascript at your own pace online 24 7 at ojamboshop.com you can use promo code school for 20 percent off until the end of 2024 all you need is a web browser so you can do it on your mobile device your tablet desktop uh, anything you want if you prefer just to get the ebook version you can get it at amazon.com it doesn't include javascript or an ide but you can easily follow along just like today use your favorite text editor and web browser and of course you can uh, links are in the description or you can go to the references here learning javascript course at ojumbo.shop.com and learning javascript ebook available on amazon if you prefer one-on-one -on -one tutorials or if you need help with custom websites or uh, mobile desktop or uh, web applications and tutorials visit ojumboservices.com thank you